So here we are at Mobile Congress. Can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us uh, kind of what you get up to? Yes, I'm the I'm Francis Charrigan, the founder of Antics Labs, and we provide an uh, on-device, high-definition gaming service for connected, on the move, and in the home products. So that, that was a that was a bit of a bit of an abstract kind of description. So connected platform for devices. So kind of what what good devices are you, are you covering? We're covering out there, so. phones, tablets, yeah. TVs, set-top boxes, PCs, really a very broad swathe of Pretty products. much everything. Yeah, running across Intel and MIPS okay. and ARM chips and lots of different operating systems. But, but uh, we've been discussing, you're not a, not, a, not a game streaming service, apparently. We're definitely not a game <laughs> streaming service. We don't believe that the yeah. economics or the technology of the game service actually work particularly, mm. most important of all, for the consumer. Okay. And you've kind of going live, or you've gone live in, in Indonesia with a particular game that you're kind of quite, quite proud of, so can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we've worked with PopCap with um, Plants vs Zombies, mm. and it's been a great example of a game which is running across a broad range of devices, again, all the way from the phone mm. up to large screen TVs. It looks great across all of them. There are behavioural differences on a phone and a TV because of the way that the consumer needs to interact, but on each device it works perfectly. Mm. And the, there is just a single binary of the game that's being distributed across all of these devices. And as well as it working across all different platforms, you're obviously you're doing stuff like game saves and interesting distribution models. Yes, we have game. We have uh, you can save the state of your game. You can distribute to all sorts of different devices, both across the cloud, but also off network. Mm. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct. We've got some other very interesting technologies to talk about in the coming uh, month or two, uh, so that a consumer can share a game with their friend or family and family, whether or not they're connected to a network. And that's good to be very. It's very important actually all over the world, yeah. but particularly in emerging and growth markets, mm. which simply do not have the infrastructure to allow everything to filter through the cloud. Yeah. And I was talking to someone the other day who's based in Hong Kong, a mobile game developer, and they say they don't go near China because they, it's not transparent, they can't get any money out. But I think you have a slightly different view of uh, the Chinese well, we, mobile market. We have a very <laughs> strong set of relationships in China, so we ha can get through to the operators and the manufacturers and... And, and, and we know how to get money out. You can of get China money. You can get well. money out. That's what you can say. You can get money out of China. We can get money out. Use of the antics. Yes, <laughs> using antics. Cool. That's Lovely. Right. Great. Thanks, Francis.